Yo, what's good guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fully optimize your PC for a huge performance boost. But that's enough talking, let's get into the video. Just as a benchmark, before we fully get into the video, this is my FPS in-game before the optimization. And these are my utilization stats. I'm on 9GB of RAM and 5% CPU usage and 2% GPU usage while literally doing nothing. So to get started with this ultimate Windows optimization, the first thing I'm gonna do is adjust the appearance of Windows. So hit your Windows key and type in adjust, then click adjust the appearance of and performance of Windows, and then copy my settings, smooth edges of screen fonts, show Windows contents while dragging, and show thumbnails instead of icons. So the only three boxes you want checked. And then come up to the advanced tab and make sure adjust for best performance of is set to programs. Then click on OK. And then hit your Windows key, type in game, and go to game mode settings. Turn on game mode and then click on graphics. Go to change default graphics settings to make sure both of these boxes are checked. Then join my Discord and I'm going to be using my free tweaking panel. So download this. Right click on this file, click run as administrator and run anyway. Then I'm going to type in one to optimize my Windows settings. The first one is general settings. So type in one, hit enter. The second one is my free power plan. So type in two and hit enter and then hit show additional plans and click risen free plan V1. Then click any key. And the third one is blocking windows updates. So type in three and hit enter and then click disable updates and click apply now. Then you can close out of this, click any key to continue. And then number four is disabling telemetry, which is just a windows diagnostic feature, which is completely useless. So type in four and hit enter. And number five is some IO tweaks, which help with latency. So type in five and hit enter. And then type in X and hit enter to go back. And the second option is a D bloat. And this is gonna uninstall useless apps that come with Windows. So I'm gonna type in one and hit enter. If you wanna see what this uninstalls, type in three and hit enter. Then the second option is startup apps. So type in two and hit enter. Click okay, and this will start task manager. Go to task manager. Click this drop down where it says status until the arrow is pointed downwards and disable everything in here just like I have. And you can close out of this. Then type in three. This is our CPU tweaks. This will make sure your minimum and maximum performance state is set to 100 so your CPU doesn't die off while you're gaming. And then type in four for some miscellaneous tweaks. The first one is menu kill time, which just makes it to where if an app stops responding, it dies out quicker than normal. So type in one and hit enter. And then type in two and hit enter for MSI mode. Click OK and inside of here, find your graphics card, check the MSI box and set interrupt priority to high. And then look for your ethernet adapter in here, find the MSI box, check it and set interrupt priority to high as well. Then click apply in the top right. And you can close out of that and click any key to continue. Then type in X and hit enter. And then I'm gonna clean my temporary files. So type in five and hit enter. Then with that done, I'm done with the free tweaking panel. So now I'm gonna move on to my NVIDIA pack. Firstly, I'm gonna open MV clean install, click run as administrator. Manually select the best driver version. If you're on a 50 series GPU, use the latest driver. But if you're on pre 50 series, use 566.03. Click next and don't check anything in here besides the display driver and then hit next again. Then disable telemetry. Unintended express installation, check this. Perform a clean installation, check that. Uncheck allow automatic reboot. Disable MPO, disable Intel, show expert tweaks. Disable telemetry again. And disable NVIDIA HD audio sleep device timer. Enable message signal interrupts and keep this on default. Disable HDCP. And make sure at the bottom, rebuild digital signature is on or else easy anti-cheat games will not work and check both these boxes. Then click next and then click install but i'm going to stop the recording because it'll mess it up and now the driver is done installing so i'm going to go back into the nvidia pack and right click on nvidia dblo run this file as administrator this is just going to double check that the clean install fully worked do some extra registry changes then msi util we don't want to do this because we already did it in the free tweak and clean time files we also don't want to do and then nvidia profile inspector right click on nvidia profile inspector click run as administrator click yes and then drag this risenfree.nip onto this. Click OK and apply changes in the top right. And then go back and we're going to download Afterburner. 
and i already have afterburner installed so i don't need to install it and the overclock is going to mess up the recording so i'm gonna do it off camera but basically all you have to do for this is click on this little magnifying glass with the c and click scan in the bottom right and it's going to automatically give you an overclock so i'll come back once i've done that and after doing the overclock this is the core memory clock that i got i got 200 on my core and 280 on my memory so i'm just going to leave it like that and you just want to come up to the top right click the windows icon and then click this lock to lock it in and then you can close msi afterburner and now i'm going to go back into my discord and i'm going to use my network panel so download this right click on it click run as administrator and option one is msi utility again so i'm going to skip over this and number two is my adapter settings so this is going to open ncpa find your ethernet inside of here right click on it click properties and uncheck everything in here besides internet protocol version 4 and protocol 6 and you might have an x lag filter keep that if you use x lag click on internet protocol version 4 click configure click yes then click power management at the top uncheck both of these then go back to advanced and disable arp offload basically everything that says offload or power saving in here just disable it Just offload disable side scaling disable this offload settings right here disable these reduce speed on power down disable wait for link turn this off and then click on ok then inside of the network panel again type in three and hit enter this will disable limiting and then number four is just some extra registry tweaks for your ethernet adapter so click any key and then you can close out of the network panel and then for me personally i like setting my windows to dark mode but the only thing like this inside of windows that will actually affect performance is transparency effects so make sure that this is checked off i'm going to set mine to dark mode with the gray accent then i'll also like turning off the search on my taskbar so right click hit taskbar settings turn off task view put search to hide and also go to taskbar behaviors and uncheck show badges and show flashing apps then close out of this and come back to my discord and download the process lowering pack i already have it on my desktop right here and then once you get this folder right click on it click extract all and it'll give you this folder double click in here and the first thing we're going to do is create a restore point go to your disk hit create and name this anything you want and click ok then double click system configuration click on open click services at the top hide all microsoft services and anything in here that says updater service or elevation service, you can uncheck it. LG Hub updater, Google updater, Google updater, Google updater. Disable all of that and then click on OK and exit without restart. Then right click on auto runs and click run as administrator. And inside of here, go to log on and uncheck everything besides CMD and NA. These two NA and the CMD.exe, don't uncheck those. Then go back in, go to task manager, click open go to startup and disable everything in here and then i also have these four folders to disable stuff via registry so for example if i want to use useless services disable go into this file and go to the text document and this will tell you everything this is going to disable so if you use any of this stuff do not disable it but for me i do not care about anything on this pc so i'm going to disable everything keep in mind none of this will affect your gaming it will just give you lower input delay so if you only use your pc for gaming i recommend disabling all of these And I don't feel like fully debloating my Discord, so I'm just going to go over my settings. So go to settings, go to clips, make sure this is turned off. Scroll down, go to voice and video, click video at the top, scroll all the way to the bottom, uncheck hardware acceleration, scroll back up, go to debugging, turn off debug logging, click OK. It's going to restart your Discord. Then go back into Discord settings, scroll all the way down on the left, go to game overlay, uncheck everything in here, at least first three. Then go back to advanced, click hardware acceleration right here, uncheck this, and click changes and restart. And that's all the settings in Discord. But my last video, or my second to last video, is actually how to deblow Discord. So I recommend going to watch that. And now I'm going to show off some BIOS tweaks that I've never talked about on this channel before. And if you don't know how to get into your BIOS, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how exactly after this and go over all the settings you need to change. If you don't know how to get to your BIOS, click your Windows key, type in reset this PC. Go here, click advanced startup, and once you restart, you're going to get to a blue screen. Click on advanced options, troubleshoot, and then UEFI firmware settings, and then click on restart again. 
and it'll boot you into your BIOS. And while we're in the BIOS, I'm going to show you some extra tweaks that you can do in your BIOS that are going to give you much more FPS. An MSI BIOS, so it might look different for you. But the first thing you want to do in BIOS is set your BIOS to advanced mode. And then on MSI, everything is under overclocking settings. So I'm going to go to overclocking settings. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to my advanced CPU configuration. And I'm going to disable all of my E cores. If you're on 12th gen or later Intel, so on i7 12th gen, you can disable E cores. And i5 13th gen and up, you can disable E cores as well. If you have a CPU in that similar range, I would Google it to see how many E cores you have and how many P cores. If you have at least six or eight P cores, disable your efficiency cores. This will boost your FPS in all games. So I'm gonna set my E cores to zero. And then while I'm in here, I'm gonna disable Intel Adaptive Thermal Monitor, Intel C-State. And before I keep going, if you're not water cooled, I don't recommend following this since this is gonna boost your temperatures, but it's gonna give you a big performance boost. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put my P-Core ratio to my absolute max. So go on Google and look up what is my max P-Core ratio for my CPU and it will tell you. I'm on an i9-14900KF, so I can go to six gigahertz, but I have some stability issues at that. So I'm gonna go to 59. So hover over P-Core ratio and type in 59, just like I did, or whatever your P-Core is. I'm on a 14900KF and then click on enter and then click escape because it's gonna lock you up for a second and then it should change. Then set CPU ratio mode to fixed mode. This is an MSI only feature. So if you don't see that, don't freak out. AVX support disable this and then scroll down all the way to the bottom and go to cpu features and inside of here disable virtualization tech cpu aes instructions cfg lock and intel vtd tech and then hit escape and then scroll back up and make sure that you have xmp or expo on if you're on a ryzen cpu i recommend enabling expo but if you're on intel i recommend just staying with xmp and then click advanced DRAM configuration and scroll down all the way to the bottom and make sure you use the bar on the right because it's very laggy. And then power down mode, disable this. And then click motherboard settings on the left, click advanced and MSI driver utility installer, disable this. And then go to PCI slash PCI subsystem settings and enable resize bar support and above 4G decoding. And then click X in the top right and click yes. I'm gonna launch Fortnite now and see how much FPS we get. And once we're in Fortnite, as you can see, my average FPS is now 660, which is literally an entire 100 FPS more than before. And my max FPS is 867. My fault, my fault. It's 867, which I'm pretty sure is like 150 boost. And just sitting in here, my average FPS is going up. So now it's more like 120 FPS boost. And when I build, my delay is way lower. Oh my gosh. And keep in mind, guys, this is just a free optimization. This is nowhere close to my paid one. With my paid one, I get around 1200 FPS. So this is another 400 FPS that I'm missing out on. So I highly recommend you go check out my paid tweaks available at risentweaks.com. We have over 4,000 reviews on the disc corner website combined. So I highly recommend you check us out, especially if this helped you. But with that said, I hope you all have an amazing day.